Yeah, oh, I just have to. There we go. Jesus Christ. Tweet. Olive as Olive song time uh, I know I'm like an hour and a half later than yesterday I fell asleep and then I was room taking a little bit to actually set up because I was talking to someone else trying to help them with stuff Okay, I know it makes sense. Blazing Sword and Excalibur. <coughs> Both at plus 10! HG. Does not look like it. Hey, 
Okay, no, you just have to hold a while to lock on in this game. Oh, yeah, there's no skill connect in this. Oh, I've, been, I've been playing Excel Sword recently, and I'm just remembering some of the differences. Is there a way to switch character in this game? I don't think there is, but... Character in the field. I don't think there is. What the fuck is this? Ah, oh, that, okay. Oh yeah, you cannot move while you are applying magic. <laughs> I'm remembering. Right, we're gonna do... Probably fly around a bit in the open world and then do a couple missions. Can I can I lock on to Fafnir? Hey, Olive. Hello, welcome. Oh god, you can't fly in these... I forget, a Lost Song really is aged... I think, I think... It's not aged as bad as... Oh god, yeah, it's... Overall, I do not think this game has aged as bad as, um... HF? However, it, it, it needs work. But I think I think I think what makes this feel worse, to be fair, is the fact that Excel World versus Sword Art Online exists, which is just so much better. It just takes this it takes this game and improves upon basically every aspect of it. And I keep trying to do stuff and like use the buttons and stuff and that, and I'm used to that. That I forget how the fuck this game actually works. Now, I, wa I wanted to... I forget I have to tap to take my sword out and then I can use sword skill. And then tap to put my sword away if I want to use magic. Instead of them being all on one big skill palette. Switch between. Easily. That's not the map. That's the map. I mean, so obviously what we looked at yesterday, uh, Hollow Fragment, was re Hollow Fragment specifically. Hollow Fragment. I don't want to do that yet. Hollow Fragment to start with 
was a PSP game, as Infinity Moment, and then a PS Vita game when it first became Hollow Fragment, and then we got re Hollow Fragment, which was the PSP game with a PS Vita game enhanced with some extra stuff added in. Meanwhile, this is was a PS Vita game, but I think the PS3 version, this is the only SEO game to launch on PS3. I believe the PS3 version launched around the... Wait, what do you mean? I, oh yeah, because I can't fucking skill connect in this game. A P uh, the PS... Uh, excuse me. Oh, because I've already done this in the story once before. I just wanted to go into the fucking thing. The... What am I trying to say? Yeah, this one was a PS Vita and PSP game. No, PS... Yeah, PS Vita and PS3 game. And this is basically just straight up a port of the PS3 version. I mean, to be fair, like, some of the animations... Like... I don't know how much more improved Excel Sword makes the running animations, to be fair. They, no, they, no, they are definitely better. The running animations in Excel Sword are definitely better. Right, let's just let's return to the town. Yeah, so um This one hasn't aged as well. Oh yeah, this <sighs> This also, to be fair, at the very least, I much preferred the outfit system in this game. Every character did get well, pretty much every character did get an original outfit, however they are varying and how good they are. This this is Kirito's original lo Lost Song original outfit. <coughs> I think th this game would have been... It was 2015. The actual game came out. Or, right, the, at least the P this version came out. I don't know the rest. I think the rest of it was earlier in 20 2015. I think it was all 2015. He's also got this God Eater Club outfit. And then his, uh... His Fairy Dance avatar. And, uh... Kiriko avatar. But now we're keeping everyone in the normal outfits. There's a... This has an original outfit. Does Rain have an original outfit? But I feel like Rain probably doesn't. No. I mean... Ah, yes, the character sprite artwork for this, which mostly all got redone for Excel Sword. Mostly. I don't know if the- I can't remember if these two actually did. Oh fuck, I actually kind of want to bring Lux onto the team. One thing this game did have was kind of custom characters, but they're not great. It also had, um, Kuyuki Hime- or Kuyuki Lotus specifically. Just- just called Black Lotus in this game. And she is... fucking ridiculous. In this game. Especially when you play against a specific person whose name begins with a J. Oh yeah, no, Josh hates her. Josh absolutely fucking hates her. Because, oh. um, she has double movement speed. And oh. double, just just jet in general, double movement speed compared to everyone. So in PvP especially, especially like, PvP in the city there, where you can't fly. She's just twice as fast and she will just chase you down and murder you. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't I saying she wasn't. Need, I, I need to make myself happy right now. Yeah, it's PvP. Fucking misery. <sighs> <coughs> 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 
dragged <laughs> people in the solar villain server down with me. Yeah, right, because there's PvP in this game. This was the first SEO game to have PvP. And I still feel like it's one of the most fun PvP experiences in an SEO game. It's a bit janky. It also has this, which I absolutely love. You can just walk into the arena and you'll have three random characters for you to fight. We're gonna, we're gonna fight Yuki. This is the thing that I really wish it ha ha they'd kept for Excel Sword. There's like battles in the arena, but they're like a quest or two that you can do, or like the, either at the end of a quest line, kind of or not a quest line, but like a, a special event. You can't repeat them, or they're a specific board quest. There's no way to auto on this either. Jesus Christ, they didn't. Did they not figure out auto dialogue until HR? Oh yeah, it has a random chance as to what they start with. It's one of their three, um... So yeah, every character in this game had three weapon types. For Kiri, it's, um... Obviously dual wield. One-handed sword and two-handed sword. Which, they make him a two-handed sword. But then they don't actually make his two-handed sword from... Um... Fairy Dance. A two-handed sword. That's a one-handed sword. Okay, just just one good parry and she's dead. Yeah, this game has, um, basically e every weapon type has six sword skills, and just six, well, not, not just six, but you can only equip six, your, whole, your magic thing is in a whole different, um, palette. Even though you probably have a lot more on that, like, look, uh, Kiri, Kiri's got some more, uh, some other stuff, some of these, but I can't, you can't equip all of them. You're very limited in what you can equip. Excel Sword massively improves on this. I feel like a lot of this retrospective on this game is going to be a couple of things I still enjoy about it. I mean, I, I loved this game back in the day. Back in 2015, when this game came out. I mean, I've been playing uh, Hollow Fragment in the lead up to it. I got Hollow Fragment basically included with a bundle uh, for pre-ordering. There was a whole load of issues with getting it all and all of that. But I absolutely fucking loved this game. It's just looking back now, especially with Excel Sword existing, it's got issues. Anyway, over here is the um, where you make characters. That's kind of Excel Sword. I mean, well, I wouldn't say Excel Sword's necessarily remade for today's standards. It's very, but it takes the combat from this and mass like a lot of the stuff from this and improves on it. Oh, yeah, in this as well, you also had custom characters, but the custom character is very, very limited. You are you you cannot change the custom character's gender. It entirely depends on what race you choose. So if you're a salamander, you're stuck as you're uh, stuck as a male salamander. Undyne stuck as female, stuck as a male sylph, male gnome, male imp, female spriggan, female kate sith, female leprechaun, and female puka. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Excel Sword will be Friday. Yeah. Um, and then. We'll, we'll, we'll take no, we're not. We'll take the Undyne as an example. We'll take the Undyne as an example. Uh, they only have two hairstyles. Oh, 
no, sorry. Um, custom character creation, not great. There's no, as you see, there's no gender option. It entirely depends on what race you choose. So, if you want a male character, you've got to choose either a salamander, a sylph, a gnome, an, or an imp. If you want a female character, it has to be an undying, a spriggan, a kate sith, a leprechaun, or a puka. And your other options are not great. You literally have two hairstyles for each character. That is it. They are obviously they're unique per one. Spriggans, for example, their sylphs, for example, have that. Gnomes. Gnomes have a more curly look. Gnomes have that. Spriggans have a ponytail. Kate Siths. And then we'll just change a bit like that. Leprechauns have a bit longer. It's kind of just to be there. They do have some very good skills, though, from what I remember. And, um... And then the other option is hair colour, which, uh, again, you only have two, and they don't exactly change too much. Basically, just darker or lighter, or, I mean, for the salamander, it's straight up brown, that's the second one. Wait, what, what's, what's the diff? Oh, it's just a bit lighter, okay. And then the last thing is a uh, skin color, which again you only have two options. It, it it really is. It's it's not great. It's very much kind of just here so that people can technically cre you can kind of create characters, but it's not very well done. In my it, it's very not well done. However, they do all have like unique stats to them like unique skills they can well not necessarily unique skills you can get skills on other characters but like unique combinations of skills like i believe some of them are actually were at least were pretty good <coughs> right are you the normal quest counter yes you are thank you Oh yeah, this di this did have, to be fair, which is one thing that Excel Sword doesn't have. Proper dungeons that quests that you can go on. Excel Sword Right it Excel Sword doesn't have these because Excel Sword lets you explore the open world in co-op. You can explore the different open worlds in co-op in Excel Sword, so any dungeon in Excel Sword you can find, like any of the ones around the map. You can go into an Excel sword and do them with friends. And this, you didn't have that option. So instead, obviously you've got all these hunting, normal hunting quests and stuff. But then you've got these three search quests, which are Abandoned Tunnel, Defiles Shrine, and Labyrinth of No Return. Which, you go through a dungeon, you kill some stuff, and you get, you get weapons. I think one of these tended to be like the drop for a dark enemies, and one of these was like the drop for... Ah, <laughs> uh, tend to be like the drop for a uh, loose air and stuff like that. Uh, let's fight. Let's do this. I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me because I'm not very well equipped for this game anymore, but whatever. Oh, that's Liz's unique outfit. Okay, yeah, no, she's going back to her normal. You also cannot move when you start casting a spell in this game. Can do in Lost Song, and it's much better. Uh, 
Uh, you need to really hold to lock on. Oh, Lux just got fucking annihilated. Yeah. But the thing is, you have to... Oh no, you don't have the quick spam when you spam jump when flying in this game either. We are, how we are going to quickly do the, I, I, I would say the three big bosses of this game. So I'm pretty sure all of these hunting quests were added in DLC. Like all the, yeah, all of these hunting and the search quests. Everything above Maddening Song of Peace was added in, in the base, in the original game, like the PS3, PS Vita DLC, but is included in the PS4 one straight away. So we're going to do the last of the actual base game. is against seven. I hate not being able to move while casting spells. Feel so vulnerable. Ow. Bastard. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Just silence me. Oh, okay, I Fuck. Ah! <laughs> I hate the silence, I hate silence, I need to wait for it to end, there we go, now I can... Now I can heal if she doesn't fire her fucking laser beams at me. And obliterate Lux. Yes. Quest. Right, and then we do. We do. Oh god, we do a match of Ragnarok's Revenge. This, um. I believe Ragnarok's Revenge is like one of the main ones you grinded in this game. Because I think for like the, the materials or something from it. Oh my, you can't fucking, like, properly... Oh no, you can, it just takes fucking forever. MP regen. Thank you. Ah. Oh. oh, fuck you, hell. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Well, maybe we'll just clear out the basilisks for a moment while we wait for our curse to end. That's it, okay. She is spinning in a circle, there we go. Oh yeah, then it's these two at once. So in fact, I could be doing more damage if I, you know, had Blazing Sword equipped as my other one, since that is a plus 10. Oh god, yeah, you can't even fucking use swords, use anything when you are fast flying. Fuck me, this... Ow. Lux got one shot again. Oh, they've lowered my hate for my attack. And they've given me MP drain. And Liz is about to die now. Right, can I can I hit her? Fucking tentacle bitch. How do I activate Union? That's how. There we go. Go Liz. I should be quick enough to just go for Loki first. Oh, Liz has been put to sleep. Given you. Oh, I've given you one that looks very good for you, but I actually don't know if it's even at all canonical to you. Yeah, and then, um, then we got this, <coughs> which I wonder, how much of this will I be able to show? How much of this will get sent, like, unavailable because of the music playing in the background? Because the fight against Lost Song, one of the best boss fights in an SAO game, 
And it has the opening playing in the background. Uh, a bit later on. Ow. Oh, can I, I, I need to get my weapons up. I hate the fucking sword skills using up my MP gauge. I much prefer sword, sword skills to be on a cooldown. Lux is dead again. Doing very good, is she? Let's just keep getting fucked. Sure, I'm not doing much better. There we go. Right, second stage. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, she just came back and instantly got fucking killed. Um, I don't think it's got iframes. I don't. I honestly don't know. Oh no! Okay, these are better to do like eclipse or something. Oh. Probably actually. Uh, Kiri? K Kiri? Oh, there we go. One side done. I'm good. Lux is fucking down again. He should be okay for this, but I guess not. I, I guess I... Oh, okay. Maybe I'll have to switch her out in a sec. Oh, I've actually already damaged it a bit. Let's try some lava stream instead. There we go. There we go. And opening playing. Which I fucking love Cynthia no Hikari. Uh, if I do that, will that apply? That should apply it to every head, right? No. And I lock on to the one I am by game. Thank you. I don't think I would have ever been able to just one shot these with that fucking sword skill when I was playing this years ago. Just as plus 10 Excalibur is absolutely carrying. I wish I had a fucking vo uh, Vox Unitas HG that I could make plus 10 instead of just a normal Vox Unitas that's plus 10. 
And now we go for main Lost Song itself. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I do feel like a lot of what made this game really fun though is its co-op, which uh, isn't, you know, as easy to show off in one of these. Especially as, I f especially as it's like, it was playing this years ago with a group of friends and all of essentially having a role in this fight. I'm pretty sure I took Kiri all the time back then anyway, but still. Like we have a um Maybe I took rain. But we would have a Sumeragi for our healer. And can you not thank you. And we'd ha I think we'd have a Sumeragi as healer, we'd probably have a Yuki and Kiri doing debuffs and maybe a Lux or someone, no, a Rain or someone doing buffs, I believe. So every, every character kind of had like something they were more specialised in. Oh yeah, like every, like... They fit into a role, basically. It may not have ever been expressed, like expressly said in game, what role they were, but. I was in your fucking face when you did that. You should not have been able to hit me. Oh, your 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 defense downs ran out. However, I think a, a big part of why you fight Lost Song is because of the uh, the drops from Lost Song. Lost Song, every single fight guarantees, is it three? Yes. Oh no, two. Maybe it guarantees two. Sometimes you can get three, or maybe it was three online. Um, three weapons, two to three weapons, and I believe every single one of those weapons is the glowing weapons. Which are the best weapons in the game. I did, obviously, the 
blazing sword is what I had earlier. And basic basically the the, the blazing sword's just a blaze a, a glowing dark pulsar. Every single one of them is like a glowing version of an existing game. Uh, existing... It's all a glowing dick! Yes. They're all like a glowing version of another sword in the game, but. Another weapon in the game, but. Still. Right. Let's complete the song of wills and ways. And then the final, um. The other DLC mission in this game. Black and white. Oh my god, Pokemon? No. Hello, Black Lotus. Oh my god, mommy. Which... She... Oh god. She is... Such a fun character in this game. Because she, she's so unique compared to everyone else. Because obviously she... They, they, they chose her... Is it Excel Assault? Is, he? is that right? What? Is it Excel Assault, right? Yes. Yes. They chose her Excel Assault outfit because obviously this way she's got wings. So she can match... Well, probably partly because this way she's got wings, partly because this way you also actually see Kuryuki. <coughs> to basically make her fit in more with this game. Because uh, you fight her and then you get her. And I believe she started at like, starts like level 700 or something, which is a very high starting point. Considering the max in this game is 1000. Okay, I, I was not expecting to fuck her up this quickly, I'll be honest. I say, as she just killed Lux and removed half of Liz's health bar, but that's besides the point. Oh, where are you? Dead. And I believe she tends to drop the Kagamitsu, aka the Photon Sword. Which was only a rank 9, and you have to kill- then again she's not as hard as Moss Song. But still, it's a rank 10 mission you've got to kill to get a rank 9 sword instead of any rank 10 sword. But, oh well. have anything to upgrade. Uh, actually, I can, I can identify all of these. Yeah, Kagamitsu G4. Uh, I, yeah, Iron Fist, Ogma, Ogma, and Sylvian Bow. Can I, I can enhance Mjolnir now. Now I'm missing materials. But um, before we do, let's do let's do a quick thing as. Right, we got we got ten minutes left. Obviously, I want to have a look through the gallery. But let's do a quick thing as uh, Black Lotus. I don't know if you can really tell it much here as to how far. I don't know if she's much faster, just normal, normal like out of combat, just normal walking around. But she definitely is in combat. Let, let's do a fight in the arena, because the thing about Black Lotus is that she she has her weapon types dual blades, one handed sword and knuckles. However, all of them have her, her original sword skills, which every, like, their original sword skills are in the game on other characters. I might quickly go over the other characters that have them, do, you know, uh, arena fights with them to show off their original sword skills. Let's fight Kiri. You can, yeah, you can see the increased speed here. She is double speed by default. However, her limitation is that she doesn't have access to magic. But, who needs magic when you've got this? Or this. Okay, he moved out of the way. Not a great example when both of those miss. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, in PvP especially, I mean, for one, her double speed is ridiculous. For two, my one especially, I don't know... Uh, yeah, okay, that, that procced. Uh, I will I will show you what sort... I've got my PvP swords on her. And as you saw, Kirito just got inflicted by poison. Because that's another thing with this game. Weapons all have attributes equipped to them. So... As you can see on her, I've got an S rank poison on her Platinum Edge HG. I've got an A rank MP drain on her Holy Sword Excalibur. Both of them have varying degrees of sleep. That's got a C rank stun and that's got a B rank bind. So her swords are absolutely just terrifying for PvP. is part of why Josh hates her because I would go on her with those swords in PvP being double the speed fighting in this area in the, in the main town the city of Rhine and can't escape all right let's I'm wondering if we no because oh, I want to show off everyone's OSS's very quick it's just, it's going to take a little bit to run between here and... There's not a way of changing that in the field in this game, is there? I don't think there is. But... That just lets me select what I want to change about character. It doesn't let me actually... Change to that character, okay. Right, we're just going to be running back and forth from the arena. <coughs> but if I remember correctly, there are only four original sword skills in this game. Oh, perfect, perfect fight. Next character will be going on anyway. Yeah, Asuna obviously is much more of a, um... She's a healer, and mage, she's got a thing that recovers her health there. But... Mother's Rosario, which Yuki basically completely dodged. There we go. And again. It, the range is really limited, and especially in this, where when you start a sword skill, you're kind of not moving forward when you're do while you're doing it for a lot of the time, which is an issue. I mean, there are some that do move you, like horizontal. Yeah. It's all about just how much MP you've got with being able to spam sword skills, and Arsena is a mage, so she's built with more. Uh, okay, no, Yuki's fell down. We'll go to our next. Our forgotten character. He never made it out of the, out, out of the, out of the ELO games. He made it into the Excel Sword. But he never made it into anything else, aside from a very brief mention in Holy Realization by Seven, and at the very end of uh, everything in the credits of uh, Last Recollection. Just shame, because I really like Sumeragi. He is a katana wielder. Oh god, yeah, this is the glowy katana. It looks so fucking good. He is a katana wielder, and uh, this is what he's got. One-handed tier. It's insane. Yes, Arsena, you lost. You got one shot. So, uh, let's try that with Yuki. 
You know, someone who should, in theory, have a bit more health than a healer. Also, as well, I want to mention this character's a healer. Like, look at his magic. This is a healer. He is a healer. Oh, not quite one shot that time. Almost, but not quite. Sumeragi is just insane. The damage one-handed tear does is fucking ridiculous. I don't... I think maybe it might be more broken than... I don't know. Against... An, especially against... I think it might be more broken of a sword skill than Black Lotus's ones, but the thing is, obviously Sumeragi doesn't have the double speed or any of that. Alright, the, uh, the next OSS. Everyone's favourite original character from this game, for very good reasons, Rain. If she's not your favourite original character from this game, and your favourite character is Seven instead, I question what is wrong with you. I question what is wrong with you if your favourite character is Sumeragi. Favorite character, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. To be fair, yeah. If your favorite, like Ra Rain, is by far the most. What's wrong with you if you like him anyway? Rain is by far the most interesting original character from this game. Hello, Argo. Rain's is a uh... thousand sword rain, which might not hit if Argo moves. It did not hit properly because Argo moved. It's not very good for PvP. Oh yeah, that's the thing as well. Um, because I haven't I've been on them, you haven't really been able to see. Every Kate Sith has a familiar. For Argo, for Alicia Rue, for uh, Sinon, it's just these little wyverns. These little dragons. Whereas, obviously for Silica, it's uh, Pina. Okay, this really isn't a good example of... Thousand Sword Rain can do a lot of damage, but the thing is, you kind of need a target that's very large and can stand still. Which means it's not very good for PvP. Oh, you. Argo. Argo. There we go. <coughs> okay, we might go a bit over. It's it's very good against some bosses, I will say. Like Fafnir was in the first area, wasn't he? We'll quick we'll quickly go to the first area and go to Fafnir. Granted, Fafnir is a level one hundred and Rain's level one thousand, but but it'll be a much better example. Oh, I forget, you run out of stamina in that, and you just... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. This, it, it's for all of them. It's for, it's for all the girls when flying. Yeah. Some of them aren't. My god. There we go. Oh, it's not as insane as one-handed tier at all. Probably also because mine is nowhere near as built as one-handed tier. But it's a very it's a very nice ranged sword skill that does quite a lot of damage. It's just you need the enemy to kind of stay still. And in like most situations, I think something like um, uh, this I forgot its name. How Eclipse is just going to be more useful. Or Rain's outfits. 
It's just a school uniform with swimsuit in the bathtub, of course it is. Yeah, that's another thing as well with this game. The only other, like, there's the original outfits for some characters, and then the only other outfits that are really there for any characters are swimsuit, towel, and school uniform. So, um... If that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about this game... The gallery sure will. <laughs> However, before we go to the gallery... Oh yeah, one of the only times these two are playable, well, literally the only other time is in... Excel Sword. It's also the only other time Super Rugged playable, but that's besides the point. Uh, Yuki. I mean, granted, Yuki's is just Mother's Rosario. <laughs> yeah, wholesome. I mean, the gallery has some wholesome moments. There's some wholesome moments in this game. To be fair, I say this as if this is anywhere near... Excel Sword is probably the worst for the gallery. In terms of... Best? You mean? In terms of lootness. I mean, at the very least... Ne the at the very least... The, the, there's nothing with Yui in this game, or Excel Sword, or I think any game other than HF. HF, why? Why, Hollow Fragment? Why did you have Yui in a fucking bath towel falling off of her? Why? Why not? What the fuck do you mean, why not? <laughs> it's Yui! Oh yeah, I've actually got her equipped with her proper sword. Is that? That's vocal strike. Okay. Oh, let's see. That's horizontal square. Horizontal square is one of my favorite one-handed sword skills in this game because of the movement it gets you. Right. Oh, awesome! Don't you dare fucking block all of it. No, Olive. No. <laughs> Olive said the reason why is because he wants to fantasize about romancing my daughter, of course. <laughs> Olive, no. <laughs> yes. I think she she does like it, Olive. I don't want to... Alright, <laughs> now let's do the gallery. Sure. Very nice, C nice CG. Oh yeah, Yui joins in the CG. Just, just sort of online. Just sort of online logo. Sit on in glasses. Based. All of these are from the story. First time we see Seven and Sumeragi properly. All together. Uh, Sakura and Alicia Rue. Rain kind of torn to shreds. Straya and Asuna. Straya, Yui, and Kiri. Kiri with his daughters. Seven Concert. Seven Sumeragi. Rain in the real world. As an idol. Ah, yes. Seven, surrounded by all of her guild members who have sacrificed themselves. Yes, Straya and Philia were both hollow fragments. Straya specifically was Infinity Moment. However... I feel like Straya in Infinity Moment is less interesting of a character than Hollow Fragment Straya. Hollow Fragment in general massively improves over Infinity Moment. And it does seem that they're keeping that for Straya with Straya coming into Fractured Daydream. Because obviously she's from Gameverse. Straya's from this timeline. But Kiri and the others don't know her. And she seems to be specifically plucked from Hollow Fragment. Which I hope is from the end of Hollow Fragment, after she has sacrificed herself to kill Alberich, aka uh, Sugo's uh, character in that, because Sugo is a villain in Hollow Fragment. And when you when she's then come and saved Kiri in the Hollow area, when you're bringing her back. Oh yeah, this was just after Rain Bitch slapped Seven.
also just after Rain Bitch Slap 7. And then we move on to the extra scenes. We get this. We get this. That's adorable. Actually, no, I think these are all still story stuff. There's our first extra scene. Look at Agil. Doesn't he look fabulous with cat ears? Yeah. Also, Liz and Arsena are trying to... And, and kind of... Well, Leaf is kind of just watching in excitement. Liz and Arsenal especially trying to put the cat ears on uh, Kiri. Uh, oh yeah, the, the school uniform stuff that Straya made, all of them school uniforms. Different kind of uniforms. Unfortunately, the fact that there is, there's a school uniform outfit obviously in this game, but it's all just the generic survivor school outfit. I kind of wish they all had their unique ones that Straya made them here. Yeah, Yuki's in a kimono. Yui's one is fucking adorable. But you can't really see it well because of Yuki's kimono. Ah, yeah, so here's the first questionable one. The octopus. The octopus isn't questionable. Swimsuits and the octopus. Yeah, yes. Uh, Straya making bikinis for her and Asuna. Ah yes, Kiri drowning underwater with in a hot spring with Liz and Philia. That's just nice. That's just Rain and Stray in uh, Chinese dresses. Yeah, there's quite a lot with Stray, by the way. Like pretty much any of the outfits, Stray kind of takes up sewing or whatever, and she makes all these outfits. Rain appearing on stage next to Seven. Leafa kicking fucking Recon as he deserves. This is his only appearance in this game, by the way, to get fucking kicked by Leafa, as he should. Argo being terrified of a puppy. Because that's Argo for you. It, it's consistent, it stays with her. She's terrified of puppies. I also really do like Argo's ALO design. Ah, yes. Ki Sakura trying to seduce Kiri. Alicia Rue trying to seduct Kiri. Seduce Kiri. Ah, yes, this. Segs the CG. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. Unfortunately, there is no one censored. This is a nice one. A lot of these, to be fair, are just very sweet. These are like their character event stories, and a lot of them are just very sweet. Oh, 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 this. I'll let you take a guess as to what's in that book. I'll give you a clue. Klein gave it to Kirito. Yeah. Yeah. Klein's fucking face in the background for this. Just just a nice family portrait. This is adorable. Silica, Yui, and Pina just all led down asleep. Seven with some cream on her face. Oh wait, no, the background's actually still painted in here. That's nice. That doesn't last a very long... Uh, that uh, kind of does a bit. Kind of loses it more and more over time. Yes, lime cake. Yuki giving us the Mother's Rosario. Seven under the tree. Singing. Rain. Best, be best game versus girl still. Still by far the best game versus original girl. It, it, got, it got close with Dorothy. Dorothy was a very good contender, and there's a lot of others that are great, but Rain still takes it. That's a great. Uh, Medina for you? No, Dorothy. Ah, uh, Dorothy. Do Dorothy, do I, I will say, Dor Dorothy came very close. 
Uh, Dorothy I is love the. Medino, but Dorothy is the best. Dorothy is very close for me to take over from Rain. Uh, Dorothy was the game original character for Last Recollection. She is a Dark Knight. She 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 she's a very good character. She comes very close to me for taking over from Rain. It's just she doesn't quite manage it. She does very comes very close. She is probably my second favorite game Gameverse girl. Probably my my favorite in a while. Like that's not saying I like the last game what I really enjoyed. Like absolutely loved both of them. I mean, granted, all the other ones kind of only had one set time. But I, I really, really enjoyed uh, both Premiere and Tier in Hollow Fragment. No, Hollow Realization. Tier especially. Tier's story in Hollow Realization was, was great. In Hollow Realization, it's, it's fantastic. Especially in the DLCs. The DLCs, the main game is Premiere's story and the DLCs are Tier's story. And they're very good. However, Dorothy managed to overtake that. Like, I, I liked... I liked Kuraha in Fatal Bullet. Zaleska was eh. Itsuki, shit. Itsuki can go fuck off, even if he is hot. No, Basalt Joe him. was the... Basalt Joe absolutely clears Zaleska and Itsuki. Basalt, Basalt Joe is so much more interesting than both of them combined. Kuraha's still the best, but Basalt Joe's just so much more interesting than both of them combined. Then, um, with Licorice. Medna had her downs, but overall I really enjoyed her. Especially in the DLCs, where we get a bit more of her and she gets to be a bit, bit more of herself without all the stakes. And I really like, even though his introduction was short, I really liked Rogu. Rogu, I liked Rogu. He was a nice addition. He was a nice addition to like making a ruled ruled quartet, basically. But Dor Dorothy, yeah, just Dorothy shines so well. Ah, yes, the best one to end on. I think it's the last one. All of the characters together. Every game has pretty much. Yeah, I think every game has the group shot of all the characters. I wonder how many of these can we show. Not that one. Can we show this? Because I love this art style. I absolutely love the anima cutscenes in Abex art style. That's fair. Yes. <laughs> it is. I. It's. <sighs> Anima is a great at what they do, and like the sort of coloring of Abex art style is perfect. <laughs> スバルトアルブヘイムか。うん、そうだよ、キリタ君。で、今はお兄ちゃんでいいか。新エリアの実装を楽しみにしてたもんね。ああ。エールを。アルブヘイムオンラインを遊ぶようになって数ヶ月。
さすが聞いてた以上の達人っぷりねでももう少し様子を見させてもらおうっと That one's very sure. One of the few times Seven's actually cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Have I, ever, have I ever mentioned how much I absolutely fucking love Kirito's fucking ALO2 outfit? Okay, you know, the outfit in this game, the outfit in Calibur, Mother of Rosario, extra edition. Basically, his non fairy dance ALO outfit. I, it's so good. And his Fractured Daydream outfit, technically. It's what he's in story wise at the beginning of the game and what you can put him in. I just need his swords. Also, now this. Skill connect that Kiri does there. That's one of his original sword skills in Excel Sword. It's his skill explosion. I love it. It is nice to see it connect uh, properly animated. I mean, we can't see it animated in a uh, you know caliber, but um, favorite SEO series as a character as a whole. Um, <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz and Liz and Kiri are both both very close. To be fair, Liz, Kiri. Lux is up there, Renry's up there. I think actually, I think Yuzhou's actually grown to be up there a lot more as well. I mean, no, I think what they, I think what they did with his skill connect in, um, in Calibur was pretty good. And it was a lot more the elemental skill, sword skills. It was, it was nice. This one might not show. No, that won't. This one definitely. Well, this one? No. Okay, so none of the rest of them will show. Good to know. <laughs> right, um... So that should technically... The stream should have ended 20 minutes ago. However, the Lost Song portion is definitely going to end. I didn't... There was kind of no one here when I went through the gallery on HF yesterday. So, 
we are going to quickly pop over to HF and I'll go through the gallery of HF. So the stream will be got down for a moment and then we'll be back up. So, be right back. <laughs> 